In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for CS and the CS1 plus ion. So let's start out with just CS. When we find CS on the periodic table here, it doesn't have a negative or a positive, so it's a neutral element. And with a neutral element, the number of protons, the atomic number, that's the number of protons, that equals the electrons. So we have 55 electrons for CS, and we're going to distribute those around the nucleus. That's what the electron configuration is all about. So there are two ways to do this. One is you can use a chart like this here and then follow through and write the configuration. If you need help doing that, there's a link in the description on how to use the chart. But probably a better way is for us to look at the periodic table organized by electron configurations. So let's do that. We've got 55 electrons. And because CS is kind of long, it has a lot of electrons, I've already written all of this out so it'll fit. So let's go see through how I found this. We start off with one. We have 1s1, and then we go to 1s2. This is full. S orbitals can hold up to two valence electrons. So we have our 1s2. Then we go to 2s, 2s1, 2s2. That's full. Then we go to the p. P's can hold up to six. We have 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's our 2p6. We go to 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. And from 4s2, we're going to go to the 3d10 here. So we have 10 here, 4p6, 5s2. Then we go to the 4d10, 5p6. And at this point, we've used, when we get to the 5p6, if you add all these numbers up, we've used 54. Remember, we have 55. So the last one, we just put in the 6s, 1. And then we have the electron configuration for CS. So here's CS on the periodic table. And I could have already known what the last term was because I could count down the periods on the table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it's in the first group here. That means it's 6s1. If you wanted to write the ion, it's helpful to know that all of these elements, they lose one valence electron here when they bond. So we lose the one electron here. That means the shell underneath it is full. So to get CS+, plus, we would just lose this electron. Often you'll see it just then written as a zero. So we've lost it, we have 54. We're still cesium, but now we have this positive charge, we're an ion. Occasionally you'll see this is just removed, completely removed. I like writing the zero for myself. So this is the electron configuration for CS+. Plus. If we wanted to have CS, we just put that electron back. There we have 55 electrons. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for CS and CS+. Plus. Thanks for watching.